Hey guys, so the other movie I went and saw this, uh, actually yesterday, was the new Tomb Raider film um, that uh, came out this weekend. I never really grew up a fan of the Tomb Raider video game series. I always thought it was okay. Um, I've I actually have the uh, rebooted version that came out a few years ago that I know this movie is based off of. That I it's one of those million games I got lying around that I just never got around to playing for some reason. Um, I just haven't had the time to ever fucking play it. I heard it's great. I just never got around to playing it. But uh, I it was like I said, I never grew up that big of a fan of the Tomb Raider franchise. I always thought it was fine. Uh, but, and, like, I've seen the original, you know, Tomb Raider movie of Angelina Jolie in its sequel. Barely remember them. Uh, I've, the only reason I remember much of the first one was because it was a nostalgia critic. You've never seen him. Go check it out. Did a review for it, and I'm like, yeah, I remember that movie not being that great or memorable, but, uh, like I said, I barely even remember the fucking sequel, and it, it's, like God, I I just remember it made a sequel. What the fuck was that movie called? I forget. Was it a Cradle of Life or something? I don't remember. And uh, now, like I said, I was all on board. I was, even despite that, I was like, on board for this movie because I was like, I like Lisa Vikander. I really one of the most gorgeous women in fucking Hollywood, in my opinion. And I was like, hell yeah, her uh has she has a vehicle to become a big action star a big star in general hell yeah i love alicia vikander she's a really good actress and really beautiful <laughs> uh really good nice to look at uh and uh yeah uh this was a movie that is the it seems like to be a lot of movies it seems like a lot of movies nowadays where i'm like it went in one ear and went out the other. Uh, it's a movie I probably won't remember much uh, about probably a month from now, but it, that sounds like I'm bashing it, but it's a movie that's okay. It's okay. It's there. It's, like I said, it's a movie that's not that really memorable. Uh, it's... It's a movie. <laughs> it's two hours of my life that I killed, and uh, I didn't exactly regret it. <laughs> uh, I don't recommend seeing it like full price in the movie theater unless you got like see like you got with me like I got movie pass I could see it for free basically. So I mean, it didn't really bother me. I saw it. Um, it wasn't really that big of a waste of my time. It's just a movie that was there. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's basically bye. That's my review for it. um. No, um, this is a movie. I'm probably another review. I'm just gonna have not much to talk about. Uh, Alicia Vikander was I thought was fine, uh, pretty good as uh, Laura Croft. She's a damn good actress, like I said, and uh, she's basically starts out like she's like an everyday person like at the beginning of the movie where she's like a courier for I don't know like a delivery service or something I don't know and she gets in trouble and then you find out oh she's Laura Croft the daughter of uh, a rich uh, a billionaire who disappeared in, on an island and you know she, like I said she ends up being you know the famous Laura Croft that everybody knows of and like it shows like like I kind of like that like showing her not just being you know the Thor Croft the Tomb Raider fame like seeing her as an everyday person that was kind of fun but you don't see much of that because it pretty much right after like introducing her you pretty much get right into her as you know having to try to find her dad on this island uh, and uh yeah, like I said, she like she's a decent action star. A lot of people said she's like basically. I saw a complaint that she's basically a punching bag in this movie. Yeah, you know whatever. I uh, she was she really wasn't. She was a pretty like she carried her own in this movie. Uh, she was co like a confident female lead hero. Uh, you know, I thought she was. Uh, you know, 
it was like it was like it was nothing like you know like this is her obviously trying to venture out into doing something uh, like there'll be a big tentpole movie for her and I, I I hope this does well I it's been doing okay I guess at the box office but you know whatever uh, you got Walter Goggins as a uh, the villain who's just even though it's just Walter Goggins which he's great in it. It's just like kind of forgettable. He just wants to. He's working for this evil company called Trinity. Uh, they're trying to get the powers of this evil empress or something like that from China. Uh, like going to, or that. Uh, uh, it's a like it, she had a tomb on this island, and uh, they're trying. She had like these powers to pretty much kill people with the touch of her hand and they're trying to you know harness these powers and shit like that that she had and she uh like i said he's working like i said for this evil group trinity which you can kind of figure out who's the head because he keeps talking to a mysterious person on the phone i guess from fucking a mile away who it was you pretty much from the get-go tell where it's going because there's like a final twist at the end of the movie who it is and I'm like I knew that and it's not much of a fucking shock whatever uh you got even fucking Kristen Scott Thomas in this fucking movie uh again uh this is like the second movie in two months I've seen her and like this in Darkest Hour and I'm like shit where the hell has she been this whole damn time um and she's just there like it, the, the problem with this movie is like don't expect much on fucking characters other than Warcraft don't expect much as far as fucking as far as fucking characters. She's a character that literally pops up and is really not given much of an introduction. She's an executive for this apparently for this com or dad's or Laura Cross dad's company, but they don't really explain that. She just pops up and you're like, oh, is that her mother? I thought that for like for a while there, I thought that was her mom, but then they explain in a flashback that her mom died. I'm like, oh, so who the fuck was that? <laughs> I was like, I guess that's an executive, I guess. But then you find out, yeah, it was, but I was like, who the fuck was that? First, I, I, I'm, I'm really confused at who the hell she was playing. Um, um, at one point, I even thought, was there a fucking nanny? I don't... <laughs> I was like, I don't, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, like I said, it was an executive. But it was like, really not much of characters. And the like, even best example of that is the ship captain. Because she takes a ship to this island to, uh, you know, find, like, what her, find out what her dad was doing on this island. And there's... She meets. She gets a guy who has a ship uh, to go go take her to this island, and it is briefly mentioned that his father took her father to this island originally, and both of them are dead, apparently dead. Yada yada yada. And he's a character that literally, I thought, oh yeah, he's gonna be like the side character, the romantic role. Uh, the uh, interest character and no he's just there and then like he disappears for like an hour I swear from the movie and then fucking doesn't pop up until like the very end you're like oh yeah that is a guy that was in this fucking movie like okay like he is like subplot is like dropped like very like uh much in this movie and it's like Okay, he's not much of a fucking character whatsoever. I can fucking remember much of him. Other than a, I forget what the hell was his name. I don't even remember. Uh, I don't even fucking remember. Was it Liu Kang? No, that's the mortal. I was about to say Liu Kang. No, that's Mortal Kombat, dumbass. Uh, <coughs> um, another video game. Uh, better video game. Uh, yeah. Uh, like, I did like, one thing I will say, I liked, uh, about, towards the end of the movie, it kind of goes into a little bit more realistic approach, because, like, when you're introduced to, like, this plot of this movie about 
her dad was looking for this tomb of an empress, yada yada yada. You're like, oh, so it's like supernatural stuff going on, whatever, yada yada yada. But by the end of the movie, I'll give it credit, like it grounds itself self in reality because that's not really. They do eventually go to the tomb, but what they end up finding is not what the legend said. Like it is not like what the legend says. Uh, it's a little bit more grounded in realism. This is, kind of not getting the spoilers, but I'm like, alright, I kind of like that. I said, I kind of dug that. Um, I'm fine with that. <laughs> like, you know, you don't need, like, supernatural shit in this movie. It's like, you know, it, it's, it doesn't need that kind of fucking thing. And, uh, like, I thought that was pretty cool. I, said, I, I gave movie props for that. Like I said, it's a movie I fucking will forget. One thing I'll fucking remember is the name of the director... Have you seen... I don't know... Who the hell is this guy? Like, this is the weirdest name for a director I've ever seen in my entire life since, like, the guy who made... Who the hell was the director of the fucking terrible Catwoman movie? Was it Pitov or something like that? This guy's name is Roar Uthog. It's... I'm not making it up. I'm sure maybe it's pronounced differently, but that's what it looks like. Roar Uthog. Like, really? That's a... <laughs> I'm like, what has this guy, has he ever done anything? I, for my tell, not really anything of note around he, in this country, so I don't know um, where the hell they got this guy from, but it was like, psh, that was weird. Uh, that's a weird fucking name for a, a director I've ever heard of in my entire life. Um, yeah, well, like I said, it's an alright movie. It's like, it's a decent rental. Um, yeah, it's like, I, I, I'd recommend it. It's fine. Um, it's like a rental or like a matinee. It's a, it's a two hours to kill. It's a movie that's there and you're probably going to forget once you see it, honestly. Uh, trailers, I did get one new trailer, and that was the new tra a new trailer for uh, Ready Player One, which is, I know, coming out in a couple weeks. Um, which everybody's kind of like losing their shit online for. Because everybody's all, oh, it's all nostalgia, and that's it, all, that's all it is. Yeah, I could tell from right, from, and like, people are like, oh, it really doesn't tell much what the story is. Yeah, it does. If you watch the fucking trailers for this movie, it does give you a fucking, the, what the story is. It's not pretty fucking, like, hard to figure out. <laughs> it's a virtual reality world where, uh... These uh, people go to to basically escape from the horrible life they're living in in a dystopian future, and the owner the run, the owner of this virtual reality dies, and he leaves like an Easter egg or an egg or Easter egg in this virtual reality for people to find, and whoever finds it will run the virtual reality world. Um, yeah, that's pretty fucking simple. It's like, I, I can figure out where it's going for the fucking get. It's not really fucking rocket science. Uh, and it's like, it, 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 and obviously he's using, like, fucking a lot of nostalgia in it, like, some Back to the Future car, Chucky, st like, it's, like, it, it, it looks fine. Like, it's, I'm fine with all the references and cameos. As long as it's done right, and, like, that's all I can, like, I won't bitch about it if it's done right. So, yeah, like I said, yeah, whatever. It, it's Spielberg. I'm going to see it. I'm uh, hearing decent reviews for it. It's getting decent reviews for it. So, yeah, um, that's as far as that goes. Uh, I still got to go see I Can Only Imagine. I wasn't going to go see that, but I hear it's getting decent reviews. I'm like, fuck. I guess I'll go see it now. Um, I will have a review for that sometime in the near future. Also, Pacific Rim Uprising. Uh, Unsane too, which just looks fucking good. Both look, uh, both movies I look forward to. I know they also get this week. Uh, Midnight Sun. What the hell? Uh, and Paul Apostle of Christ, but I'm probably not seeing those. But if they get good reviews, maybe I'll check them out. But until then, I'll talk to you. Guys.